Okay, part two of this abomination. Well, most of this I've given it a couple days to settle out. It's not as clear as I like it. But it's pretty clear. But most of it at 10 to chloride, or what I think it is, has settled out in the bottom of this flask. So we're going to triple filter it again. And uh, maybe, just maybe, we can filter out the rest of this, get onto the SMB, let's get onto the furnace, let's get this over with. You know, I don't want to spend two weeks doing this, I got things to do, you know? Okay, uh, filtering uh, operation, what, about 246? All right, we don't have the cloud. We may have actually filtered this correctly and got rid of, I don't know about all the tin. Maybe all the tin, but I'm not ready to brag like that. You know, this is heavily contaminated with tin. Now we're going to clear all this out, get us some room, and uh, we're going to get us a, a large beaker, and uh, we're going to drop this gold. That's what we're going to do. And I'm sorry I didn't show you the actual dropping of the SMB, but I just dropped it and stirred it. So we're going to get us a nice go drop here. I hate catching a whiff of this sulfur dioxide gas. I mean, this, this stuff kills me. Where I have COPD, it's instant COPD attack. Instant on the nebulizer. Dying for two hours. One whiff. I put three big teaspoons of SMB in this. That should be enough. It might require another. We'll do a Stannis check here in a minute. I just hope that isn't super fine. Ugh. What do they call that stuff in Africa? That stinking talcum powder time. Fesh, fesh, uh, freaking sand. Yeah, I hope it ain't fesh, fesh. But anyways, we'll be back. So we're going to get a sample of this and see if we've got all the gold dropped out of solution. It's going to get a little foggy here for a second, so let's bear with it. Looks like we may have gotten it all. I'm not seeing any indication. Sometimes it takes a second. We have a successful drop. We may have turned it a little, little brown, but it's not worth chasing. A little layer go down there. Don't know how much. I think I said between one and two grams at the most. We will see. We got some gold right in the the surface tension of the SMB crap sewer water. Uh, there's our gold. Yeah, about what I expected. All right, we're gonna get this in Aqua Regia. That's good heavy gold. It's not that fine fish fish crap that I was fearing. It's good heavy gold. All right, we're gonna put this in Aqua Regia and refine it again. We're gonna see again how little nitric it takes to dissolve this go. Right now we have right at, I don't know, about 90 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. And we're going to start laying the nitric to it. We're going to start off with eight. Yeah, let's start off with eight milliliters concentrated nitric acid. Okay. That's right at it's between eight and nine milliliters of concentrated nitric acid. Yeah, that's not bad for eight milliliters of nitric. We're gonna put about 25 milliliters of water in here. Let's give it, give it some room to dissolve. But anyways, you can make a little crude, you know, distillation device with them. Uh, nitrogen dioxide fumes come up and condensate. Here, drops back down as nitric acid. Works quite well if you put cool water in here. Then you stretch your nitric out a little bit more doing this. It really does work. So, that's not completely dissolved. But it's almost completely dissolved. And we got some real good fumage going on in here. Nitrogen dioxide gas. That's actually a good thing. So we're going to condensate that gas, bloop, drop it back down, 
as nitric acid. Then further dissolve more of this gold dust. All right, it looks like eight milliliters of nitric acid did the job. But we're gonna add a couple more milliliters just because I think it needs just a little, a little bit more kick. 10 milliliters of nitric acid is all we put in this. And uh, probably didn't even need the last two milliliters, but my gut told me we did. So I'm going with the gut. Now we're just gonna let this sit here and do its thing probably for another half an hour or so. All right, if you can hear me over this fan, we'll go ahead and do the drop. Sulfur dioxide gas generator, you know, and use the, and just to create the gas to do it because that's what does it. That's what drops the gold out. It's the sulfur dioxide gas that's created when you mix sodium metabol sulfite with hydrochloric acid. We're going to do a status test. do this off camera because I don't want to catch a whiff of that junk. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit more SMB. There's still a little bit of gold left in solution. We'll show it to you at least. We'd have a little bit left. So we're going to do a little bit more. And this should do it. Right there, that's how you can tell. I call it the, when you see the, the fizz fizz, that usually tells you you got a good drop. So we're going to sit there and let this drop out and settle out. I didn't have to wait long. I didn't even have to leave the room. So, that looks excellent, actually. All right. That's what we got. There's not too much light here. After all that, and you see some sparkly goat bits in there. I couldn't help it. I had to clean the stock pot out. That's, uh, that's fun. Yeah, but anyways, it had some... Uh, Gold foils from Ram Finger in it. Then, well, they're in here now. You can see them in there. That ain't gonna hurt nothing. Anyways, we're gonna get this dried out. I'm betting that's 1.5 grams of 24 karat gold. Good heavy sponge. Good heavy gold. To get it real good and bone dry before it goes in here. Then, then we'll gonna turn the EOD furnace on. And I gotta tell you, the, the outfit that sold me this, this is Tuato. The 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 really kind Chinese people that sold me this. Okay. I inquired about another uh, resistant uh, resistor element. Okay, just wanted to know how much it would cost to, to buy one. And they sent me one for free. Just had to pay for the shipping. Uh, I mean they, they said they sent me a hundred dollar resistor element for free. I thought that was really, really nice of them. So, you know, not a bad outfit if you see these guys. I think I bought this off of eBay, actually. So, so far so good. It works like a charm. All right. Once this dries out, we're going to get this in the furnace. Get us a nice little button, probably a gram and a half. Hammer it out. We'll step a nice cross in the middle of it. 
and, uh, and there we go. All right, we are all dried out. And that's a good looking goat right there. That's a nice, nice looking goat. All right, we're gonna just weigh the powder. Go ahead and tear this out with a, with a small little beaker there. And, okay, I don't think it worked out quite right. Let's do this one more time. Okay. Is that two different size beakers? Uh, I think that's two different size beakers. Yeah, I think we're, we've lost our minds here. Uh, so, okay. Uh, that's two different size beakers. Ah, uh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> uh, Cut, cut. All right, man, that's some good looking powder there. Okay, yeah. Outstanding. Okay, we're gonna weigh this out, so I'm gonna transfer that to here, which is probably stupid, but we're gonna do it anyways. Uh, let's tear this out. Now, very, very, very carefully. Let's transfer the powder over. Yep. And it says we have that don't make no sense. 5.99 grams gold powder. Ah. That don't make no sense. Something right here. Unless there was a lot of gold yield with that gold filled material. Upwards of three and a half grams worth. Actually, that's about right. That's right. That's what it should have came out to. So we got roughly six grams of pure goat. Now, let's see if that works out that way. It tests out that way. Once we stick it in the furnace, we predicted a gram and a half, but I didn't account for the gold field material at all. And we had, uh, yeah, that's about right. About 70, 80 grams, 100, 100, a little over 100 grams. Yeah, that's about right, uh, six grams. Okay, we're going to get it the first. All right, we're climbing nicely. Doing very well. Actually, very quickly. Yeah, that cord got really hot. I had to go get a a uh, fan to put on it. I uh, used an extension cord like a moron, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you live, you learn. But I don't think we're going to be able to pick up anything here for the heat, but you can look down in there. It's getting... It's getting there, there, Ace. It's getting there. So, about another 30 minutes. Stick to the bottom of that. Gotta get that all together there. Stick to the bottom of the crucible, of course. We'll pull it all together. All right. There we go. All right, nice. This is a nice little button. These are frontal gloves off. Alright, we got some flux on it, but that can't be helped. Nice little button. Very nice. That is a nice little button of go. We're gonna put it in some sulfuric acid to clean it off. We do have some flux on the top of it. It didn't wanna look like it wanted to beat out. So let's get this cleaned up. Very nice button. Nice button. And then uh, we'll weigh it out. Yeah, we didn't even have to really get it hot. It's already doing its thing. Cleaning off all that flux and crud off of it. All right. Now that is a nice little go button. We're going to get a weight on this. And it's 
not fully clean. I got a little impatient. There's a little flux down in here, but oh well. There's a little dimple, but 5.76 grams. And that is <laughs> considerably more than 1.5. Uh, I predicted because I don't know what I was thinking. I was going off of the three and a half grams of the 14 karat gold and it was re-refining. Okay, and I forgot about the three and a half grams of gold powder that I did have. And not to mention the 80 to 100 grams of gold filled material that I had. So yeah, it all works out. I forgot, completely forgot about that. And I was just concentrating on uh, the uh, the 1.5 grams of 14 karat gold that we stamped the little crosses into. So we're going to get this stamped up, put our mark on it, and uh, call it a day. All right, we'll show you two when we're done. All right, there it is. And yeah, we probably could stamp that better, but that is one pretty little button. That's about as good as it gets. I mean, yeah, I probably would have. It's, it's dimpled up. You know, we got us a good stamp on the back, too. We got the little 24 karat stamp right there, but you can't see that. Not very well, anyways. I mean, I barely can see it with this right there, but it's in there. So, very nice. 24K button. Now, that's. There's no doubt there. So that's nice. Nice little display case to stick it in. Nice little 5.78 gram little button. So that concludes the re-refining of our gold. And I think it was just an absolutely resounding success. Into this beautiful little button. And uh, we'll put that sucker up. Alright. We're out of here.